everyone, good morning. Uh, we are still here in Patagonia, but the deal this time is, is I really don't have any idea of where we're at, what we're doing, or what's going on, because Jen here <laughs> has a surprise. Jen, well, just you have to tell everybody everything. <laughs> I hope it's a good surprise. Uh, so we've spent the last couple days in the tiny town of Cochamo in the uh, northern Patagonia, southern lakes district okay. region of Chile. It's warmer up here, all, theoretically warmer up here, more temperate. There's temperate rainforest all around us. Today we're hiking into Valle Cochamo, which is up there, and we're going to go visit the Yosemite of South America. Yosemite of South America? Yeah. What does that mean? Um, it means it's a gorgeous valley with okay. camping, um, huge granite walls. Oh, okay. Um, amazing rock climbing. We ran into some climbers at the, the parking yep. place just down the trail. Yep. Awesome. Uh, you said the word trail. Why don't you be a little more specific? <laughs> I do know some things. So that's that's the kicker. Um, the valley, Cochamo Town and Cochamo Valley are about um, 12 kilometers apart. We have to walk up. It's not really an established trail. This isn't a national park. It's all private property. So oh. what there are are okay. livestock trails. So cattle, horses. Uh, so we're going to be following a livestock trail up until the point we get in the valley. In the valley, and it's supposed to be pretty muddy because it's been raining for the last two days. Yeah, it's been raining here for the last two days. We have one weather window. We did want to go up there and camp and then pick a couple of peaks off. Uh, the weather just did not cooperate because we didn't want to be absolutely miserable. Uh, so we just enjoyed hot breakfasts and food and wine and all that good stuff. Um, but here we are and uh, you will have to drive down this little side road for about five kilometers and at the end there'll be a sign uh, for parking and you pull into this little private property area and there's plenty of space to park here. You have to find a gentleman whose name is Claudio. Claudio. He lives and in a little hut or he's in the process of building a little hut. <laughs> yes and what were the prices for parking? So for parking for a half day which is just like a day hike uh, 1,000 pesos 2,000 each night for overnight. Okay and then supposedly with the overnight you pay when you get back. He'll just sit out there waiting for you to come back. I guess, yeah. But here we are. Uh, our host at our place told us we have four tributaries to cross, um, five, and there are a bunch of surprises I lay ahead uh, for which Jen has been hiding from me, hence the word surprise. All right, Jen, lead the way on uh, your magical journey. My magical journey. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully it actually is magical. I think it will be because the weather's perfect. The photos, I, Nick has not seen the photos, so nope. I've been trying not to spoil him on this place, but it's gorgeous. All right, gorgeous. let's go. Here and back. All right. Waterfalls everywhere. Waterfalls. All right, so we are about half an hour into our hike and you'll see this big yellow sign and you'll also notice these little guys, Puente. Now, the horses and everything go down this way and they'll ford the river, but I say, nay, I can't afford that. 
So we'll take the uh, little bridge. Jen's running away. Why? Let's gallop along and catch her. Ooh, footbridge. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm gonna let Jen go first. These things bounce. All right, Jen's across. Let's go. Oh, it is shimmying side to side as well. Every footstep makes it go. Da, da, da. Oh, mama. It's fun. All right, let's see if I can't track you behind me. How was that? That would be a lot of fun with a large pack. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, let's carry on. Yep. A little bit of a river. And that's where we go. So we're just about uh, halfway to the flat spot. We've done about 607 feet gain and uh, hopefully it'll open up just kind of in this bamboo temperate rainforest tunnel and uh yeah there's some mud it's not that bad but uh let me just show you what it's like hiking in this all right jen yes let's do it Still on my phone. And then yes. An example of the ruts. In the tree. Yeah, it's if you're not used to hiking in mud, if you've never hiked in mud, if you're definitely afraid of mud, you will hate every every minute of this. But it's really not, it's not that bad. It is not as bad as the Dientes, which is now going to be our benchmark for everything difficult for me right now. <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look at your... I mean, yeah, look at my boots. They're not even not bad. covered yet. Not bad. We uh, are, of course, with the caveat that we are only halfway. Yep. So. All right. We'll do it. There might not be views in the first half, but I really dig these like little tunnels we keep going through. And the light, the morning light's coming like right at our face, so it's all crazy blown out. I'm digging it. been plowing our way through the uh, forest and get this nice little break and tons of birds look at the what are those up there those flowers in the tree looks like moss the big old red thing I can't see any red things
Oh, yeah. There you go. The red inflorescence on the uh, little air plants. That's cool. Oof. All right, we are about an hour and a half into the hike, and we've done just about a thousand feet gain, which looking at the uh, topo GPS says that we've done pretty much most of the gain that's gonna take to get to uh, La Junta. We are only roughly halfway, so from here it's kind of just all flat into La Junta, just up and down a little bit, but majority of the gain is done. And, Senorita, Ushiro Noeni Nandeska. <laughs> uh, there's a gorgeous waterfall um, behind us. It's, yeah. It's funny, as you go through, we were driving through the valley mm -hmm. uh, yesterday because it was raining. Yep. And we didn't have anything better to do. Yep. Uh, you, there are waterfalls like this, massive waterfalls, like every couple of kilometers just pounding down the hillsides. And any Cliff one of these, sides. any one of these would be uh, a major tourist attraction. Yeah, just Back looking. In the Cascades. It's insane. They're everywhere. Yeah. So, uh, Jen, what does that sign say? Uh, this is a rest zone. Yeah. So they tell you you're supposed to rest for about 10 minutes for each hour of walking. Uh, and then there's a bunch of graffiti telling people to pack out their trash in the toilet paper. So that's that's a thing. Pack out your trash in your toilet paper. Yep. As any good, uh, responsible steward of nature should do. As a radio. It's possible. Yeah. But uh, what do you think of the hike so far? It's not bad. I'm actually really enjoying it. I, I read all the horror stories about, oh God, it's the muddiest thing ever. You're going to hate life. It's miserable. But it's a beautiful forest. It's muddy, but it's, like we've said multiple times, it's not that bad. Not that bad. It's, it's a pretty decent, decent walk. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this flat stretch and then getting up to La Junta. La Junta. What does La Junta mean? Uh, I think it means... Somebody who actually speaks Spanish and ha or and or has a dictionary available can correct me. I think it meant boardroom, okay, conference, something like that. Sure, I'm sure the YouTube commenters will be more than happy to tell you. You can all school me, and my 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 Spanish is not not really on point. Yeah, we are out here in the middle of nowhere. There is no reception, no Wi-Fi, no uh, coffee bars, so we can't even check. Uh, the birds are going crazy up yeah. here. It's a dense forest canopy, so we really can't see the birds. It's driving us a little crazy, but we can hear them. Uh, but we've done about our requisite for resting. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's go. All right, after you. It's...
Whew. We are two hours in, um, and I just got a first glimpse of what lays ahead. Let's take a look. This is a pretty magical gen. You know what? What? You're right. This does look a lot like uh, Yosemite. <laughs> oh, just wait till we get up there. I can't wait to get up there, so uh, let's continue on. <laughs> Just after that view, here's an example of one of the river crossings where the horses would ford it. Uh, but if you pay attention, there's a little side trail that leads to a tiny little bridge. And you can see Jen on the bridge right now. Look at her, majestic. Normally I would try this, but it's just high enough that I would get wet. I could maybe, but no, there's a bridge. Let's go to the bridge. I'm okay. It's a little slippery. We are two and a half hours into the hike and we're in this nice little grassy open area and behind me is more of a taste of what you're gonna see. That was a Caracara that just flew over. Perfect timing. Thank you Caracara. The check is in the mail. <laughs> um, but uh, we've been crushing trail trying to go as fast as we can without falling on our face. I did slip a little bit but uh I think we got like another half hour to go before uh, we get up to uh, La Junta. So let's keep pushing. He's just following uh, another horse that had a human on it. So, that's a smart horse. It's like, I want to get out of here, don't leave me behind. <laughs> hmm. The horses take the uh, ravine and the humans take the high ground. And it is a welcome separation because it's usually drier up top. And there's there's following the river back there. I don't know if you can see that. What do you, I can't see. Yes, you can. I can't. Look, it's white. What's up there? There's stuff. Never mind. Can't see anything. So we're in between La Junta and uh, Manzanos, 
and <laughs> there's a spectacular view. So I'm just gonna spin you around and give you a shot of uh, Cerro Laguna. All right, let's continue on the trail into La Junta. Uh-oh. End of the road. Uh, hop over this and then go around. Made it through. Um, but man, it just keeps punishing you. It's like... It's like... The mud's not that bad, but... You get these views with these caracaras and these glacial peaks and I just want to get there and see them. But the mud says, no, no, slow down. I don't want to slow down, <laughs> but you have to. So we're almost there, back into the dock. Okay, we are at three hours and 40 minutes. Uh, the guy said, oh, it'll only take you three hours to get to La Junta. Um, but here we are at the river where if you're going to camp here, you have to cross via cable car. Oh. Uh, right, Jen? No, that's for oh. the uh, Campo Aventura Mountain Lodge is up there. So we're oh. staying at Campo Aventura Riverside Lodge. They also own a mountain lodge that obviously you have to take this cable car awesome. to, uh, to get to. Huh. Man, this is beautiful. But fighting that mud, just crisscross, 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 mud, 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 crisscross, crisscross. It's a, uh, we probably could do this if it was dry, you could do this in uh, three hours, cut off 40 minutes. Um, there's a little bench here to hang out. And uh, Jim, we're just gonna push on, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess you would hand line this and then bring it. Yeah. Cool. I love how the river's just swirling down here. Let's continue on. Parakeets. Oh, Campo Aventura. Trekking that way. The gates of La Junta. Just a taste. What's this, Jen? This is La Junta. Whoa. This is it? There's like buildings and dogs and... Yeah, there's uh, and camping facilities of all kinds. Uh, I want to say there's there's bathrooms. There should be a signed trail, like trail marker thing. Oh, where do we go? We we'll just keep going. Okay. That is very pretty. Oh look, these people are camping. Look how nice and dry their campsite is. Okay. Yeah. All right, at the end of this, you get a uh, sign for camping La Junta, Refugio Cochamo, and camping Chirawen, and I guess that's Chirawen in there. But we follow this yellow arrow and continue onward. Up. Oh. And Camping Vista Hermosa is just after that sign. Oh, there's a cable car. Bienvenidos, welcome. What do we do, Jen? I'm going to phone find out. All right. Okay, we are here in between all of this. And as you can see, we don't have to cross the river as much as I really, really want to get into one of these things and uh, cross the river. We're going to follow the river up more 
and uh, go to uh, the waterfall Toboganes, if that's how you pronounce it. But there's the little cart across, and Jen's back there reading. So I believe we just follow this up. And it took us just under four hours to get here. So plan for that if you've got big packs and there's no mud, you'd probably get here in under four hours. But if you had big packs and mud, you're looking at definitely over four hours because it's just a lot of like maintaining your balance and trying not to go in the soup, so to speak. All right, if you want to get to the cool waterfall, you got to cross the river and the river is high. So if we want to do this, we're going to take our shoes and socks off because I don't want to do a, a four hour hike back in wet, soggy feet. So we're going to see what's up with that and uh, take a look around here. Hola. There are cows coming across the river. All right, we're doing it. It's cold and strong, and you gotta take the time to not. The rocks are also really slippery. Wishing. All right. We're gonna need a pull. You can't step on the big rocks because they're really slippery. And you can't really see what's going on because of all distortion. You got it? All right. Oh, there. My feet are frozen. Let's see if Jen needs help. Are your feet frozen? Woohoo! That's very cold. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just think you get to do it again on the way back. No, hooray. <sighs> and without a towel. We got that little tiny pack towel. Yeah. I'll just use the uh my my zip offs probably. Okay. We made it across. <laughs> I really wanna see this uh waterfall open for a good time. Uh we're gonna put our shoes on and uh we'll be close. Alright. We're mildly dressed. What does it say, Jen? Si no respetas la montaña, no eres bienvenido. If you don't respect the mountain, you are not welcome. Awesome. We respect it very much. 
Tobarones, here we come. Habitado. Let's uh, go over there on the rocks in the sun. Uh, it's pretty cool, Jen. All right, we're gonna have some lunch here and uh, we'll catch up with you in a minute. <laughs> Alright everyone, that's it for Jen's adventure, isn't it? Yeah, well, for now. For now. Um, I'm, I hope that uh, it was a pleasant surprise. It was a very pleasant surprise. This is amazing. Uh, this is the best day we've had up here in the Lakes <laughs> District. One good day is all it takes. Man. Yeah, this is, this is amazing. My only regret is that uh, we didn't have better weather. We can't, couldn't spend more time. Um, it's just before four o'clock. Mm -hmm. We were about to turn around and go back down, uh, back down to the car because we know it's going to take us probably three and a half, four hours. Uh, three and a half. I'm saying three and a half from right now, so we'll probably get there just a little after seven. Headlamps will probably come on. Yeah, the uh, the sun doesn't set until eight, but uh, because we'll be hiking back down in the rainforest and the canopy is so thick, it was really dark on the way up. And our, uh, the caretaker at the place we're staying said, figure night falls about seven in the forest. So we'll that's be fine. doing some, a little bit of uh, night hiking. The, night the hiking in mud. Yep. But yeah, would you, would you come back here? I would come back here, but I'd get me some dang old horses and that would bring them here. And then I could get crazy up in here because um, you just don't get to see much through the forest. Rainforest is beautiful. Um, I absolutely love the rainforest. But a four hour hike in a tunnel with mud is so much easier when there's horses. Plus this is just, it is a livestock as you saw the bunch of cows crossing the river. This is a livestock trail. This is not a human trail. Right. Um, it is a battle. Yeah, they have done a lot of work to try to separate thank out the you. worst parts. Thank you. Yep, they yes, have. thank you, wonderful people who own mm -hmm. this place. Um, that's much appreciated. But for now, it's, it's still primarily a uh, mixed use. Mixed use cattle. Horses, cattle. Humans come last. Humans are, yeah, we're definitely secondary. Yep. But, so I would like to come back. Um, I think what we should do is in addition to your horses, we should try to book um, book a room at the refugio. Oh. So that we could stay up at the refugio, not have to bring a tent. I mean, right. Living in the, la the lap of luxury. And then we could do all these day hikes. There are some amazing hikes from here. Yeah. The one that I wanted to do that we didn't get to, Cerro Arco Iris is about a 4,000 foot climb up to the top of one of these summits yeah it's scrambly it's yep. beautiful you get this gorgeous like, look of the valley and then this little pocket lake that you can only see when you're up there mm. trinidad is another one that's um i think it's back that way yeah uh go up into you go up into the granite it's yeah. it's scrambly and route findy and fun and on a day like this these these kinds of hikes are going to be phenomenal so yeah this is the uh, yosemite of uh patagonia without a doubt i mean just take a look at that 
What'd you say that one is? The museum up in here? Uh, this, what, the this peak? Policy, what is that? The, no, the, the, the basin. Oh, La Junta? That big bowl, big granite bowl up in I, there. I don't know what that's called. Oh. <laughs> she was saying some words and I thought she was calling it some like Coliseum Museum thing because it's all like white. No, I wish crazy. I knew. It looks it looks amazing. I don't right. know what's up there, but I really want to go up and find out. And then if you're a, if you're a legitimate climber, not just a, a scrambler like mm -hmm. us, there are a ton of beautiful routes. I mean, you can see yeah. the granite. It's gorgeous. Um, and there are a lot of, from what I understand, a lot of things that haven't really been been climbed yet. So new routes to put up. So yeah, put them get up. Your, get your rack and your harness and bring Shh. some ropes and maybe go out here and set a few new projects. There you go. All right, everyone. This has been a really long video. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope uh, this trail gets a little more exposure so they put some more work into it. Uh, it is Tourism is the lifeblood of uh, this area other than that shell fishery stuff in the river, whatever's happening with that is delicious. Thank you. Um, but that's it. And I'm gonna leave you with uh, some panning panoramic panos. And I'm not looking forward to this four hour mud hike down. That'd be sad. Yep. See you at the next mud bog. <laughs> Hopefully less boggy. Um, what's up next? You're gonna find out what's up next. It's, it's a surprise. It's a good surprise. We yeah. think you'll like it. Yeah. We'll like it. We're We've looking been forward waiting for this for two it. years. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Ciao.